Chris Hayward squaring off in the quarterfinals. Jay Devillier looks so dominant against Marcel Chan. He knew he needed to show up big in that one, but a new challenge ahead between he and Chris Hayworth. Hayworth, who took down Connor Garnett, the four seed, in three to get here. So how will Jay Devillier stack up against Hayworth? Hayworth is our first server here. Chris Hayworth is a heavy hitter, and Jay's able to take that third shot drive, move it cross court. Jay was locked in in his, in his first match on center today. Into the net for De Villiers. Right shot to hit, though? Absolutely. And so he was getting ready to play a little cat and mouse, see how Chris moves at the kitchen. Beautiful counter from Chris Hayworth, former Oklahoma State tennis player in college. Yeah, Chris uh, has that beautiful two-handed backhand that he's able to place anywhere on court. 6-3 frame, too. And wow, instead of stepping around it to hit a forehand, he was comfortable with that backhand down the line. Can save from Jay Devilliers. Jay with a nice deep breath after that one. Stops, stops the run, gets back here on serve. Wow, Chris, uh, he changes up his return, goes to Jay's forehand. Jay was caught off guard, and Chris was able to go behind Jay again. Always an effective strategy to sometimes go behind your opponent. They tend to run to the open court, so if you can get them moving back, it'll keep them honest. Jay's able to whip the forehand down the line. There's been a Multiple forehand third shots to the right side. A little bit different from Jay's first one where they almost went exclusively to the left side. This is the second meeting between these two. They last met in Utah at the Tournament of Champions and Chris Hayworth took that one in two games on Jay Devillier last season. Yeah, Chris had a great tournament, that tournament and uh, I believe he got fourth. He's had some big wins in his career. He did. Including one over Ben Johns. Yeah, at the Biofreeze Nationals in Dallas. Wow, what court coverage from Chris. Jay wasn't able to get around that quick enough. But he was, again, trying to go behind Chris. Beautiful play from Jay Devillier. Wow. Christopher just ripped that forehand cross court. Jay was more than ready for the task. Nice passing shot from Jay Devillier on the backhand. That two-handed backhand has become a weapon for so many of these pros. Yes. Jay was really one of the first ones. I mean, Jay gets locked in on his backhand. He's tough to beat. Nice mobility at the kitchen for Hayworth. Oh, Jay had it. Taking a deep breath. Just barely out. Jay stands strong at the kitchen line. A bunch of different attacks, some drops, some drives from Chris Hayworth. Oh man, we are 
are stuck at two. This is gonna be an absolute battle, this match for both players. Fitness will come into play. This desert, dry air, we'll see how each player handles it. Yeah, ball's playing a little bit faster. Chris Hayworth likes playing in a faster condition. Talked to Connor Garnett about the scouting report against Hayworth leading into their matchup in the round of 16. He said that these conditions probably suit his game better. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris just barely pushes it wide. Jay was able to reset that drive from him and place it in the kitchen and get it moving forward. Couple unforced errors from Jay. Ball goes flying to the crowd. Get crowd involvement, throw it back. <laughs> Nice shot from Jay DeVillier, finds the sideline, gets the serve back. Jay's coverage at the kitchen has been really good yeah, so one, far. One point lead for Hayworth in this battle. Tied back at three. Unforced error. Jay's fist pumping, he's ready to go. We'll see. Uh, See if this is the start of something for the Frenchman. Beautiful finishing touch and perfect point construction for Jay DeVillier. Takes the one point lead. Chris has almost gone exclusively to Jay's forehand in the return. He must have uh, saw a little bit of Jay's first match on center where he was hitting to his backhand. He was playing during that match oh. against Connor Garnett. Must have talked to Instance. Marcel. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think he's targeting that forehand? Jay's backhand, if he's grooving, he's uh he's not giving you much. Ooh. Hayworth had it tracked down. Jay DeVillier. He's, he's starting to look confident. He's got that look in his eye. Chris Hayworth with the uh, with the great forehand cross court winner. We'll see if Jay decides to change up his return spot. He's been going to his forehand and that hasn't worked the last two. Wide for De Villiers. Chris Hayworth inching back in after trailing by three. Yeah, Chris used that timeout, was able to get settled in. Started ripping some forehands. Usually that's a great shot for Chris. He loves that two hand backhand roll down the line, but he's missed a couple of them. There he goes, Jay tried to go back to the backhand where he just got a free point. And Chris just changes it up from going down the line, goes cross court, make Jay run. Great kitchen coverage by Jay. Able to move 
Chris all around the court, ultimately finishing with the forehand cross court. Another big response from Hayworth. Six foot three, covers the court really nicely. I mean, he is a power hitter. You do not want to get him a easy ball. Oh, can't believe he missed it. He had it. Wow, Jace fist pumping. He's feeling confident. He's moving extremely well. He's in control of this first game. His backhand's kind of let him down. Chris Hayworth has. What was that from Davillier? <laughs> I don't know. He's he's wondering that himself. Going back to the towel, regrouping. Wow, a lot of unforced errors from Chris Hayworth. There's another backhand down the line that he's missed. And so Jay seems to be winning a lot of his points when he drops it to Chris Hayworth's backhand. And Chris goes down the line. He was able to make it there. But we'll see if that pattern continues. Chris just blast another forehand into the net. Really would like to see him drop it cross court. Try to get into this cat and mouse. Don't give Jay a free point. Another forehand return taken to Jay's forehand. Has gone there almost exclusively. That's a nice shot from Chris Hayworth. Yeah, he has great court coverage. He loves driving the ball from back there. So Jay changed his pattern, went to his backhand off of his return, and then hit it to the open court. Oh, how about that opening shot from Chris Hayworth on the timeout to tie it at eight. Wow, two times Chris Hayworth has come out of timeouts ready to play. And we're going to see if that forehand continues. Jay DeVillier responds, gets the serve back, and he has to have some urgency on his side. He just barely overruns it, Chris Hayworth. He left that third just a little high. Jay was able to put it at his feet, and Chris just wasn't able to get in the right position. Oh, that was, wow. I was just gonna say that return was beautiful from again, Chris Hayworth to the corner. Again to Jay's forehand. That mm -hmm. is exclusively where he's gone, and He's tied it back up at eight. Funny little dance after missing the backhand third. Feels like he should have made that. Oh, that's exactly what Jay wanted. A nice free point. He's going to fast serve it here. Get ready. Oh, Hayworth takes it right back. There he goes. He likes that backhand roll. He's missed a lot down the line this first game, but he's getting settled in. And Jay looked like he wasn't prepared for that backhand roll down the line. Oh, 
What a grab from Chris Hayworth. Wow. Wow. Chris is, uh, he's feeling it. He's uh, tied it up here at nine, feeling confident. Just wide, Hayworth survives it, and just like that, a turn of events, game point to the side of the 14 seed, Chris Hayworth. And here's game point for Chris Hayworth. Yes, there was no challenge on that call from Ville, just a timeout to alleviate some of that confusion. Saves one game point. Chris Hayworth takes the serve right back and another game point with it. He tiptoes and stays out of the kitchen. Got that backhand line in. Went to his forehand again. They both just seem to be returning to the other opponent's forehand. Usually it's the opposite, right? It's usually been the opposite. Missed it into the net. And he's frustrated with that one for obvious reasons. Chris Hayworth back to serve for the game. Oh. Pretty point, wow. Chris Hayworth. What a way to close out game number one, 11-9. And he snuck back to take it. Wow, Jay had unbelievable kitchen coverage. But Chris comes through with the big reach, that 6-3 frame. So game one goes to the Oklahoma State tennis standout, Chris Hayworth. Can he hang on to take this one and two? We'll find out. The official ball of the PPA Tour. First game, Dylan Seeger. Yeah, Chris uh, came out strong out of all those timeouts. Just ready to play. Wow, two unforced errors from Chris Hayworth coming out this game. Jay's ready to play this second game. Ooh, little pancake action. There we go. From Chris Hayworth, taking a page out of Riley Newman's book. You don't see lots of pancakes in singles pickleball. Riley Newman recently broke that shot down in a podcast that just came out from the dink. Crafty angles and what an ATP wow. for Jay Devillier. How did he get this? Jay's fired up. He's ready to go. Just an unreal forehand return from Chris Hayworth. But Jay steps in and lets him know that he's here to play the second game. Chris is making Jay move all around the court in this game. Ooh. Oh, wow, what a pickup from Devillier. Twice now on center court, we've seen him come up with some crazy plays. That's just an unreal angle pickup. Doesn't get flustered by the net court. Oh, <laughs> Wow, Jay is 
covering all angles of the court. Chris finally was like, you're not gonna hit another ATP. <laughs> with great kitchen coverage. Great drop by Jay. You know, Chris was going exclusively to his forehand on returns. Besides the change it up, goes to the backhand. Jay counters with a great drop. This is not the start Chris Hayworth probably was envisioning. Five nothing start for Jay Devillier in game two. Back on center court, Jay Devillier holding on to a 5 nothing lead here in game two. Chris Hayworth was able to evaporate a lead from De Villiers in game one. See if the same holds true here. Beautiful angle from Hayworth to take back the serve. Can he get a point? Chris going against his normal game of just driving from the middle of the court, tries dropping it. He's definitely flustered in this second game. Ball just wide from Jay. Would have been an unreal angle. Beautiful whip from Jay Devilliers, who continues to build. Chris Hayworth still stuck on zero. He's just a little, not as settled into this. He's reaching for everything, and he's got to calm down, or he uh, he's going to be looking for a third game here very quickly. Ooh, crafty roll shot from the kitchen from Hayworth, and then he pulls a shot like that out of his pocket. Into the net for Hayworth. Ooh. Not much going right for Hayworth right now. Devilliers, 8 1, three he, points away. He's definitely settled into this second game, and we will we will see if uh, Chris is able to turn this around. But if not, it looks like we're going to game three. Yeah, not for now. Two points away now, Jay Devillier from taking the second. It's a nice response. Yep, Chris is using his length to put the ball away. 
Jay left the ball a little bit high on that third shot drive, wasn't able to get it at his feet. Feathery drop from Jay DeVillier. That is the famous freshman touch, just able to put the ball right where the opponent can't reach it. Just long by Chris. Jay was able to get that third shot down at the feet, and Chris is definitely frustrated. <laughs> and Jay DeVillier takes it 11-1, a dramatic series of events here and a drastic different performance from game one and game two. We're going to a third. His backhand drive was locked in. The famous Jay DeVillier backhand drive cross court. This has been a battle all the way through. sequence of events and Jay de Villiers finds an impossible ATP. My goodness. like Jay's changing his pattern. He's returning a little bit more of the Chris's backhand. <laughs> Athletic move from Jay to Villiers. And that backhand touch, seen such dynamic angles all day long from him. Hayworth takes care of that angle on the backhand side after some flawless drops from Jay DeVillier. The fist pump and the come on, Chris is letting Jay know that he is here to play. The lucky bounce from Jay off the return. Denied by the net, Jay DeVillier. He's able to keep it low at Chris Hayworth's feet. Chris wasn't able to get enough underneath it and lift it up over the net. Jay is cruising in this third game so far. the backhand roll cross court. Chris almost had it. Back to another side out. Big play from Jay DeVillier. Quick timeout by Chris Hayworth. Just a round to go. <laughs> Jay DeVillier commanding the kitchen. Gets the serve right back, still no points for Hayworth. So before the break, talked about where things took a turn in favor of Jay DeVillier. After this point, we'd love to know where that has been in your eyes. A 
it's really been in Jay's body language. He's just been ultra positive, not getting down on himself, letting the game to come to him. And he's just allowed Chris to make mistakes. That is a weapon of a backhand from Chris Hayworth. The angles he's able to find. Impressive, still looking for his first point though in game three. Wow, what a forehand cross court from Chris Hayworth. He's able to get on the board, maybe start something. bounce goes Chris's way. He's a little sorry, shaking his head because he feels like he should have put that ball away instead of got the lucky bounce. Oh, the drop is frustrated. Just trying to get it over. That's been the story of the second game and moving into the third game here. Jay Nevillier in transition, he snipes just, it. He's locked in. Jay's been playing incredibly well. Chris Hayworth's game just dropped just a little bit. <laughs> That's a tough lob. Not really necessarily lobbing 6'3", Chris Hayworth. Yeah, a lot of size and athleticism in this matchup. Oh, the lucky, lucky break for Chris getting a free point from Jay. Hand. That would have been just barely out. Another miss on the backhand side of Devilliers. Can't believe he missed that. Jay kept it nice and deep on him. Got it at his feet. Wasn't able to bring the backhand up the line. And another miss for Chris Hayworth. That is... A tough go. Yeah, he uh, he has not come out strong outside of timeouts, where in that first game, he came out very strong. How about that shot from Jay Devillier right at the feet of Hayworth? Jay is locked in. He is ready to go. And so he has just hit his backhand so well, able to place it all over the court. Wow, impre incredible court coverage wow. for Jay Devillier. This man is locked in. His third ATP this match. He's won all of them. Look at that, letting that ball go out, recovering in, putting the ball in play, and able to hit that cross court drop from the kitchen line. There's that backhand. It's gonna be key for him to come into this match. 
Yeah, Chris Hayworth trying to halt the momentum of Jay de Villiers, who seemingly cannot be stopped. Missed return from Hayworth That's brings match point to Jay de Villiers looking to punch his ticket to the semis. His third missed return this game. Wow, Chris able to whip that backhand cross court. Let's see if this is his last stand. Oh, and a missed serve. Tough go for Hayworth and another match point for Jay de Villiers. Wow, wicked angles on both sides from Hayworth. Now can he start to consolidate that and earn some points? Jay runs into the LED boards <laughs> trying to get the court coverage, but Chris able to get his shots all over the court. Called on Hayworth. I think they're saying he. <laughs> yeah, he was clean. Yeah, the ball bounced on both sides. Side up. Great sportsmanship from. Chris Hayworth, and so no replay a point. And another match point for De Villiers. Oh, Hayworth, no problem there, cleaning things up at the kitchen. Yeah, Chris uh, got a little bit of frustration out on those two, two shots. Wow, unreal kitchen coverage. Fully stretched out, able to flick the forehand cross court. Jay de Villiers closes out game three. He is on to the semi-final. What a performance for the flying Frenchman. Wow, what a, what a comeback. Just able to persevere through and then win the next second and third really handily. We will chat with him about the big win on the other side of the break. Jay de Villiers moving on in style. What a big performance for the big man. Jay de Villiers is moving on to the semi-final. A big three-game win for him over Chris Hayworth, who took out Connor Garnett in the round of 16. He joins us now to talk about it. Jay, tough first game loss for you. How were you able to respond and turn things around in games two and three in your favor? Yeah, it was tough. I, I felt like uh, I actually was dominating that, that first game. I was up all the time. and. And he, he came out more clutch than me at the end and played a little bit better. Uh, I made some adjustment in the second that worked very well, and I, I was happy to to carry it uh, to the third game. So very pleased with that win because, you know, Chris is a great player. He has been playing so well. And, uh, you know, I just wanted that win so bad because he has beaten me two times already. So I was like, this is my day today. <laughs> what were those adjustments in the second that you mentioned? Oh, you know, I, I felt like he was doing a great job at, at returning, putting a lot of pressure on me. So I started mixing the pace on my serve and the placement, which uh, mm. led, uh, led him to make a little bit more unforced errors and, and shorter return, which gave me a little bit more room to play on my serve. Um, I felt on the return I was doing a great job. So I just, you know, I, again, it was more focusing on me and winning more points when I had the ball in hand. So very happy with the outcome on second and third game. 
Yeah, well, looking good on your way to the semifinals. Up next, you either have Ben Johns or Jaume Martinez. Vic, what's your mentality heading into the semifinal? Oh, you know, I'm just very excited. I'm, I felt, I feel like I'm playing well. I'm moving well. Um, you know, both players are very good. Jaume, obviously, uh, has proven himself uh, last year. And, uh, you know, Ben is Ben. He has won so many tournaments. I have played him so many times. So, I, again, both of them, very happy to play against those two uh, amazing players. And hopefully I, I can crush them and go to the final on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, what does it mean for you to be back in the semifinal here in Arizona? It, it's great. You know, I always play uh, very good here. I Every year I have uh, at least a final or, or semi. So I'm very happy uh, to, to make it to the semis in singles again. Uh, last time Ben took me out here, so hopefully uh, if I play him, I will be ready for him this time. All right, well that matchup is coming our way next. Jay, thanks so much. Congrats on the semi-final performance so far. And